I want to ask you our, our poll question today, Coach. Um, it's about what went down uh, with Wake Forest, where yeah. remarkably, I mean, you've heard this story. Um, Brockman, do you want to read Coach Holmgren the, the poll question right here? Yeah, Coach, if you received show. stolen game plans like Louisville uh, did, what would you do? Would you blow the whistle, use them, or do nothing? I, I, I probably wouldn't blow the whistle, uh, I, I, and I probably wouldn't use them. Um, I only came close to something like that uh, one time, and that's when I was in Green Bay, and, and a fan, before we played the 49ers, a fan had phoned and found a sheet of paper, she said, and everyone in Green Bay is a fan. So she found the sheet of paper, phoned the office. I'm in a hotel someplace, and it's the first 15 of plays of the 49ers. And every coach that's ever had that happen to them, and that's happened, you know, they find stuff in locker rooms. They, it's happened that they think it's a setup, that this is a false, false deal. And, you know, you just tear it up and don't, wow. don't pay any attention to it. So I, I said, ah, forget about it. And they said, no, it's got it right here. So I said, well, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. I said that don't deal with it. So he said, well, can I give it to the defensive coaches? Cause it was the 49ers offense. I said, I don't want to deal with it. So somehow they got the play. I mean, we got the plays, and I think it's a fake. And I told Fritz Shermer, who was our defensive coordinator at the time, the game starts, I said, if they start with these three plays, those are the plays that are on the list. Because I knew it was my offense. It was the same offense I called. Hmm. And they started with the first three plays. I said, Fritz, it's the first three plays. And we didn't steal it or do anything. Someone, it was left in a, someplace, you know, in a hotel. And so... But this situation, I think, I don't know the details, Rich. You, you tell me. I, I don't know the details on how the information got and who it got to and all that kind of stuff. Well, apparently the, the announcer, former uh, quarterback and coach, um, called up the offensive coordinator of Louisville, who he knows, and said, I've got stuff for you. And um, that, that is the way it, it got to Louisville. And, huh. uh, but it's interesting that you say that you would not blow the whistle. You'd probably I just do think, nothing. I, well, if, 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 if one of my players, if I was receiving the information, yes, I think I'd just say, I don't want to have it. You know, we're not doing it that way. Tear it up. Throw it away. And, uh, and then let whoever wants to do an investigation, whoever is involved in that, do it. You know, I, I, I'm not a big whistleblower person, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> but until you're in that situation, you can't ever be sure. But... Uh, it, that, that, that's a shameful thing. If that, in fact, if the details are what I read in the paper, uh, shame on him. You know, he should have done that. And I don't know why he did it. I mean, has anything come out as to motive? No, not yet. I, no not motivation. Yet. We don't know it yet. No. Yeah. But no, that's horrible. You know, and uh, obviously the, they, he's feeling the ramifications now because I believe he was fired and all those things. So, indeed, and I don't indeed. know. If he used to work on that staff, I think, didn't he? <laughs> He did, he did, but then the new co- a new coach came in, Clowney came in and and and, and changed. But well, look yeah. anyway, coach, enjoy tonight's game. Uh, we'll, I love having you on. Uh, let, let's get you on sooner than just right, several Richard. months. Take okay, care. you bet. That's Mike Holmgren. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.